Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be solving the equations for the indicated letter. If you take a look over here, we've got a bunch of letters over here now. Um, in some of the previous videos, you could easily see how this B and C and D might be replaced with numbers, and we just distribute and solve as we normally would. But um, in this case, we're just left with all letters. Now, what I want to stress is we're still going to use these steps that we normally follow to solve for a linear equation. So I'm going to follow those. And the first set says to undo the parentheses or distribute. So all we're trying to do is here we're solving for C. So we want to get that C by itself. The first thing we're going to do is distribute, and we're going to get AB plus AC equals D. Again, I know this looks really ugly, but all we're going to work to do is try to get this C by itself. Um, it says combine like terms on either side of the equal sign. We don't really have anything to combine. I can't put an AB and an AC together because those have different, um, the, not all the letters match up since this one has a B and this one has a C. Those are not like terms. So we can't do anything in step two. It says get the variable you're solving for on the same side. Well, C is already on its, by itself. Um, it says undo any addition or subtraction. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of this AB. So I'm going to minus AB, and we're going to minus AB. These cancel out, and we end up with AC equals D minus AB. Again, not like terms, so you can't put them together. And it, now it says undo any uh, multiplication or division. So again, we're trying to get this C by itself, right? What's next to it? There's an A right there. So we're going to divide by A, and we're going to divide by A. And we end up getting... C equals D minus AB all divided by A. Be careful, you cannot cancel those A's right there because there's a bunch of stuff up in that numerator. So that's going to be our final answer because we got C by itself, so we just stop right there. Now let's go down and take a look at another one. This says X minus Y equals C. Solve for A. So I've got this A in this denominator down here. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get it out. Sorry, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So now take a closer look at this. What does this symbol mean? We know that st symbol stands for division, right? So right now this says divided by A. So to solve for A, to get that A out of the denominator, I'm going to times both sides by A. So what's left when we times both sides by A? Well, the left-hand side, I have times A and divided by A. Those are going to cancel out, and we're going to get X minus y equals, and then over there I've got c a. Now again, I'm trying to solve for a. You see I've got this a over here. What's next to it is the c. So we're going to divide both sides by c now. These cancel out, and on the left hand side I have x minus y divided by c equals, what's left on that right hand side is just a. Again, when do we know we are done? It says solve for a, and you see I've got a by itself over here. So my fan final answer is going to be x y x minus y divided by c equals a. Now just one last one here. It says we have one half t v equals g. Solve for t. So I'm going to go ahead and recopy this um, over here so I have enough room. But uh, what we want to look at here is now I've got a fraction in front. So if I want to get rid of a one half. Before I start dividing anything, um, how do we get rid of fractions when we're solving equations, especially when they're multiplied? Remember, we don't divide by that fraction. What we do here is we are going to multiply by the reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of 1 half? Well, that's 2 over 1, right? But what I do to that left-hand side, I've also got to do the right-hand side. So I multiply both sides by 2 over 1. Now look, 1 half times 2 over 1, those cancel out over here, and we just have TV equals, and over here on the right-hand side, 2 over 1, that's just 2. 2 times g is 2g. Okay, so I have tv equals 2g, and I'm trying to solve for t. I'm trying to get that t by itself. Again, you're just working to get rid of everything near the t, so I divide both sides by v, and the v's cancel on this right hand, uh, left-hand side, and I get t is equal to 2g over v. So when you have a fraction in your original problem, make sure you just take care of it right away. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1, and that will clear that fraction for you. And then you can just divide both sides by whatever's closest to it. Um, you'll see some similar ones like this in the homework and also in class.